Hi everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Papery. I'm gonna be doing a design team video for Not Too Shabby Shop where I showcase the Paper Pad Club. I'm doing a crafty tutorial where we make a four by six envelope mini album. Welcome back everyone. I'm on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here's their logo. I'll list their website link and a discount code down in the description box below. Here's a bit more information for Not Too Shabby. So today I'm showcasing the May Paper Pad Club. You get two paper pads. The first one's called Patriotic Waves. It has 24 sheets. It is double-sided. It's six different designs and you get four of each. So just super, super fun uh, patterns, patriotic patterns and prints. You've got a full sheet of uh, like cut aparts and you do get four of those sheets in the full paper pad and then a ton of other really fun patriotic patterns. And then the second paper pad is yay for red, white, and blue, 24 double-sided sheets. You get two of each design. So you basically get 24 designs on this one. This is what it comes with. So super fun. Lots of reds, whites, blues. I love the glitters. I like the, and it's it's, it's faux glitter. So it's not actual glitter. It's just faux. It's just paper. Um, but I really like all the different color combinations of that red, white, and blue. So this was the May 2023 Paper Pad Club from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Again, I will list their website link and a discount code down below for you. So for today's project, we are making a four by six mini album. This is one that I made off camera just to kind of give you an example of how it looks like and what it, it will turn out to look like. I am using these clearance envelopes that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. You get 50 in this pack. And so we're gonna use some of these envelopes today to make this little four by six mini album. I also did bring in some of the new Not Too Shabby enamel dots. And right now uh, in the shop, if you spend over $60, you do get a pack of those for free while supplies last. I'm also using the Lemon Brightness paper pad and ephemera set, which is from the box of the month for this month. There is a hop in giveaway that's going on right now if you happen to catch this video soon enough here is what the inside looks like I've got some little pockets I've got some full sheets where I can add pictures or journaling or whatever I want I've got some more pockets I did add some of the ephemera pieces in there I think this little this little mini album is just so super cute and you will not believe how easy this is to make we're gonna make it on camera today I'm gonna show you it's it's one easy score it's one easy way to glue and it's one very easy way to cut your paper so we're gonna be using the paper pad club along with those envelopes that I got from Hobby Lobby these are again I'm gonna use five and they are four and a quarter by six and a quarter these are some envelopes and these were perfect for some four by six cards you do get 50 in that pack so if you're using five you could technically make 10 albums with that one pack I did already cut out the little ephemera pieces that came in this paper pad so I've already fussy cut them out but just as a heads up there is a coordinating ephemera pack that's available in the not too shabby shop and it has a lot of these same images and so if you really like these images, but you want some more of this ephemera, you can actually pick up the, the pack of ephemera to go along with this paper pad club uh, while you're already there in the shop. So I've already cut out those images. I've got my ATG tape runner. I've got some wet glue. We're going to use both types today. I've got my bone folder, a scoreboard. We've got one easy score. Let's go ahead and jump into the project. We're going to go ahead and assemble the actual base of the album first using these envelopes just to make it really easy. I'm going to show you here what my little album looks like. You see here I have a little bit of a gusset on the side just because it's a little wider than an envelope. So I, what I'm doing is adding one score line that, that's one eighth of an inch to the right of of the actual envelope flap fold so you see where the envelope normally folds you're going to go one eighth of an inch over and so what i did was i just put it on the three inch mark and just scored one eighth over so then you're going to go ahead and fold both of those little scores or the, the little creases there just to make a little bitty gusset that's one eighth of an inch and because i'm using five envelopes i found that one eighth works perfectly if you're going to be doing more envelopes you might need a little bit of a wider score so we're going to fold all of our the rest of our remaining envelopes just fold the flap back so that's what I've done there. So now let's go ahead and start to glue and assemble this mini album. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our second envelope and we're gonna turn it around with the, the plain side facing front and the actual open area of the envelope facing back. And we're gonna glue that little tab right into the envelope, just like this. But what I like to do first is sort of open up those those paper fibers by kind of auditioning that envelope in there and kind of wiggling it just to make sure that my envelope's going to fit perfectly in there because there's nothing worse than adding glue and then trying to squeeze it in and it doesn't fit so you just want to loosen it up then you're going to add glue to the back of the flap so where you have the open part of the envelope 
you're gonna go ahead and add glue to just that little flap, just a little bit of glue, and you are gonna wanna use wet glue for this. Then you're gonna go ahead and just insert that wet glue flap right onto the inside of your cover envelope. And so then you're gonna go all the way to the edge of where your envelope will fold the, with the flap, and then you'll just go ahead and press it down, make sure you don't have any residual glue, that's what it'll look like. And you see when I fold the, that second sheet over, now I have an open pocket on the back, which I can continue to just do the exact same process and continue to make my album so I'll do the same thing kind of make sure that my envelope is going to fit perfectly inside of that pocket and then I will go ahead and add my glue and then go ahead and insert it with again the hole open to the back and so I'm going to keep doing that until I get to my last sheet or my last envelope so we just keep inserting it again I just like to wiggle it in there make sure it's going to fit I've done this many times and I have there's times where I have not sort of auditioned the envelope to make sure that it's going to fit in there and I do get stuck especially when I'm doing like handmade envelopes these store-bought ones are a little bit better with that but sometimes you just really want to test it out so on that last one you're going to go ahead and flip it around and have your open part of the envelope facing forward so you're going to glue the back part of the flap and then go ahead and glue it right on the inside of your little envelope album here I'll push it all the way in make sure it goes to the end and then go ahead and push it down make sure we've got no residual glue and then the last step will be to add glue to our flap but only the flap that's coming from the front cover you don't want to add anything into that little 1 8 gusset that you added that will help give your uh, album a little bit of sort of like breathing room so it can open very easily so you'll press it down kind of square off the spine and now we have our album foundation it is complete so this is what it will look like whenever you have your album ready to go before you decorate so here's what mine looked like. It did get a little bulkier once I added my paper, but otherwise it's pretty flat. So we're gonna pick out our paper, we're gonna go ahead and cut down our mats, and then the last step is we'll go ahead and form some pockets and then do some decoration. So I've already picked out 10 sheets of six by six paper. I've picked out six sheets from this first paper pad, which is the Yay Red, White, and Blue paper pad. So I've got six sheets from there, and then I picked out four of the more patterned papers from the Patriotic Waves paper pad. So this, this little paper pad club was perfect because you've got some sort of like neutral solid kind of prints and then you also got some really high pattern prints as well. We're gonna cut down our paper. Now you are gonna cut down all of your papers the exact same way. You're gonna make sure your paper is vertical, so up and down. Why? Because we have a vertical album that we're making here. So once you cut down your papers, you will have a small little border all the way around, which is 1 8 of an inch border. So we're gonna cut each of the papers at four inches with the pattern up and down, just like this. We're gonna have a four by six and a two by six scrap as well. And so that scrap is something that we'll use for the pocket. So again, our main mat is four inches by six inches. And again, once you mat it onto your envelope, you'll have a 1 8 border all the way around. You'll repeat the same cut with the remaining sheets. So I have already cut all of my sheets off camera or the remaining sheets. So I have 10 total four by six mats and I have 10 total scraps that are two inches by six inches with no scraps so far right now, no additional pieces from my sheets of paper. I am gonna be choosing my cover first. I've already done that. So I already picked up my the one that I want, which is this really pretty blue with the stars. I'm also gonna add one of my scraps onto the front cover just for additional decoration. We will use some of these scraps to do some of the pockets. I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Basically, we'll glue down the mats on the inside you could technically have since it's open and it's a, the envelope itself is a pocket you could use that as a pocket but I like to just glue it all the way down make it more sturdy and just add my own additional pockets using those scraps so let's go ahead and glue down our cover so I'm going to add some ATG to the back of my cover mat just like this and then I'll go ahead and glue it down again making sure that I have that 1 8 border all the way around and then I'm gonna just finish decorating the cover of my album. So I have those ephemera pieces that came from that paper pad. I'm gonna add one of the strips right on the inside or right on the middle section of this little album. And then what I did was I also brought in one tag, just some a random white die cut tag from my stash that I'm gonna to add to kind of anchor behind this, this little piece of ephemera, the one with the girl and the flag. I thought that it would help kind of showcase that, that little uh, image if I had a little bit of 
white behind it since that floral strip that I added is very very um, diverse or you know a lot of lot of image on it the good thing about wet glue is that you do have a little bit of wiggle room so once you lay something down you technically do have a few seconds to kind of shift and you see there I did shift it just a tiny bit on some of those flowers that I anchored behind my tag and then I'm gonna add my little girl as like a finishing touch and that's the first part of it now I do have uh, some enamel dots that I wanted to bring in from my stash from my recent haul from not too shabby I have that little hole from the tag I'm going to cover that up with an enamel dot so that's a little tip if you ever have a tag hole and you just really don't want to put twine or string or something you can always cover it up on your layout with an enamel dot so my cover is ready the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and glue the remaining mats into the inside of my album as well as into the back cover and I did mention you do have those holes right there for the uh from the envelopes i'm going to cover them up i'm just going to cover them straight up because we're going to make our own little pockets using those scraps so i've already gone off camera and i've glued all of my papers onto the inside leaving that 1 8 border all the way around on all sides here's what it looks like i did use my atg tape runner for this just because it was like a mass assemble kind of situation i added glue to all the backs added down my pattern papers it was so quick and easy this little envelope is probably the easiest album you could ever make honestly so so I'm going to add some pockets using these little scraps that I had left over from when I cut down my four by six mats. And so what I'm doing, and this is completely optional, but I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. You see here, I added my notches. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna layer some of those little scraps and make my pockets and then add some additional little pieces of ephemera right on top to finish decorating it. And that will call it a day for this little album. So I have my, again, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, and I'm gonna go ahead and notch it at three inches. Since these little strips are six inches long, I'm gonna notch it at three inches, and that'll give me a little notch right on the center. You could also use a circle punch if you wanted to do this, or you could just leave it just like this without any notches. I personally like the look of the notch, and so I'm gonna go ahead and notch it right in the middle on both of my little strips of scrap paper. Again, at three inches on my envelope punch board. And so I'm gonna do it on both of the little strips and then I'll go ahead and layer them onto my album. Now, one thing that I also wanna mention is because I'm gonna be adding two strips, you could technically make two small pockets or you could make one large pocket and one short pocket. This is totally up to you. The difference is how you glue these little strips down. You see how I can technically make a very deep pocket with that middle panel because it's gonna be covered completely by that second little piece of scrap that I'm gonna cover to make the second pocket. So you could make a short pocket by just gluing all three sides there. And then again, gluing the three sides on the second pocket, or we can make a longer pocket or a deeper pocket by only gluing the top and the bottom sections. You see here, so I'm not gluing that long edge nor the edge with my notch where I put my notch. So I just glue the two sides and this will just make sure that it adheres to the actual mat. And then I'm gonna add glue to all three sides, excluding where I have my little notch, which is where I'm gonna put my thumb as a placeholder, as a reminder that I don't wanna add glue there because that's gonna be the open side. So now I have my two pockets. And again, the inside one is a deep one because it goes all the way to the edge. And then that second one is a short one. So that's how you can make these pockets. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the remaining pockets throughout the rest of this album. So I have my finished album here. I've already glued the pockets. I've added my additional pieces of ephemera. This was such a fun project. I'm gonna show you one more tip here. For this little pocket, I went ahead and turned it, I had one strip left. I turned it into a horizontal pocket by cutting it down to four inches and then I notched it at two inches. And so this was my last little scrap strip. I, I notched it again. I just put it in here and notched it at my two inch mark. Obviously the paper was longer though. It was a four inch piece. This was the only scrap I had left from all 10 sheets. So this is definitely a paper buster. I had a little bit of those scraps left over from where I did the notches, but I really don't count those because to me, those are not usable. So here's what my final pockets are. You see this first deeper one goes all the way in and then this one's a short pocket. Then we have an entire sheet that I can add whatever we want on that long one. It's a four by six mat. Then I have another deep pocket. I have another short pocket, another full size mat. And then I have one more set of deep pocket and short pocket 
and then I have another long mat with that pattern paper. And then I have one more set of two, two pockets here, one deep, one short. And then I have my little horizontal pocket as well, just to finish things off. So that was my super cute, super easy four by six envelope mini album using the May 2023 Paper Pad Club from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Again, I'm gonna list their website link and a discount code down in the description box below so you can save some money, pick up this pad set and make this super cute mini album as well. Thanks for visiting everyone. I hope you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Instagram. Here are a couple of videos I think you might enjoy. And as always, happy crafting.